Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to do a roundup for the week for the top 10 tweaks that I feel like's worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, please understand that this isn't a review of these tweaks, only just me showing you some of the best features you can do with each tweak. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the top tweaks of the week. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Selfie. You can get it for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. And it does just what the name implies. It allows you to take self portraits simply by just swiping up on your dock. And you see that's me there giving you the peace sign. So if you want to take a photo, you just hit snap down there and that quick and easy. You got your photograph and your photos here. You see right here in my camera roll, my last photograph, that was me. That's selfie. The next one I'm going to share with you is called Weasel. And that's a pretty odd name for this. But if you're familiar with Alfred, Weasel's available for $1.99 in the Big Boss repo, and you have to set it to an activator, and I got it on triple press, and anything I want to look up, whether it's a contact, if I want to search the Amazon, Google, eBay, anything, I just type it right in there. So let's say if we want to look for a MacBook. Okay, I'm, it's hard to type here, seems like. All right, anything I want to search here, if I want to search it on Google, Wikipedia, my Amazon, anything, I just hit that. Let's search Amazon. That quick, it opens Amazon up, and it works the same way if you're looking for an application on your device. Say I'm looking for Cydia, and you see it already popped it up. Now, when I tap it, it automatically opens the application and takes me right into where I was last at, into the Cydia application. That's Weasel. It's $1.99. Define for iOS 7 is a big boss tweak for 99 cents. Okay, guys, Define for iOS 7 lets you search the dictionary, thesaurus, things of that nature for a uh, definition for words and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and give it a try. It's in your control center. You just pop open your control center. And you see down here at the main bottom is uh, AA dictionary. Just tap that and it'll open up. A little pop up on your uh, screen and let's say we just want to look up the word cat okay you want to search dictionary Wikipedia the SARS and that quick you see we have cat up on the display so let's go ahead and check out the next one it's called Vmoji this is probably the most expensive tweak that we'll cover today it's $2.99 in the Big Boss repo the emoji adds over 800 different emoji icons to your iDevice to use. All you have to do is tap the little globe down here at the bottom. You see I got an emoji and just tap that and it'll pop them right open. Uh, and you see I got all different kinds. But you can also pop them up simply by holding down on different keys on the iDevice if you hold down on the A. Let's see which one. There they were. You see you get different pop-ups here, and if I want those, I can just release it. And the S has some. You just have to use it for a while to know where these are. You see I got that face-looking one up there. That's called Vmoji 7, and it is for iOS 7. Okay, the next one, guys, that we're going to talk about, this is called Arco. And this is a music tweak. And it's 99 cents in the Big Boss repo, and it's compatible with iOS 5, 6, and 7. And what makes this tweak even more special, guys, is every time you buy this tweak, you are donating to the Because of Ezra Foundation. That's a uh, organization where they fight uh, children cancer. So that's a very special organization, guys. So don't feel guilty about paying this 99 cents whatsoever as we get farther along in the song there'll be like a little line start appearing around the little play button up here and the farther you get the closer that circle line is to being completely drawn around that playhead that line is progressing as that song goes the farther along you see it and when it's complete you'll have a full circle drawn all the way around that that sort of lets you know by just glancing at your device 
The next one, guys, is one of my favorites, and these are going to be some of the free ones I'm going to share with you today. I know I made you wait, didn't I? You see that pop up on the keyboard there, and all that looks blue? Now, that's not because I'm in Kentucky and I'm a Wildcat fan, but you could call it that if you want to. But this is called Blueboard, and it is one word. It's, it's been the Big Boss repo, and this is going to be for the big price of nothing, free. And you can get this and add it in here. You just simply turn it on. There's nothing else you can do with it. It just has an enable and disable switch. There's nothing to configure or anything like that. You turn it on and off, respring, and that's it. You can set it to dark keyboard. And I think that just makes the white dark, you know, like maybe if you want to use it at night or something. I think that's what that's about. Actually, I've never tried it, but it seemed like I remember seeing that or reading it somewhere or something like that. But when it comes up right here, we'll pop it right back open and then we'll know, won't we? Yep. So that makes the white background dark. So it looks a little bit better like that anyway. It's called blue board. All right, guys, if you notice while I've been scrolling, I can scroll all the way around. There's no stopping. No, if I go to the left or if I go to the right, I can continuously scroll indefinitely, no matter how long. This is called Mobius, M-O-B-I-U-S. And this, you have to add a repo to get this too, guys. You can't get this in on the native repos. And I'll have the repo in the description below. And you, it's only compatible with these uh, the, in green here. They, these three tweaks at the bottom, barrel, fave, and eye widgets. If you use those, you can't use Mobius. So keep that in mind whenever you're wanting to uh, check this tweak out. Somehow or another, I've got all out of whack there. The next one is called Cylinder. And if you like the way that my icons sort of danced as I scrolled, I got that by using Cylinder. And you can see right here that Cylinder has its own personal repo too. You'll have to add a, a special repo to get that. But it's free also, guys, so keep that in mind. See how those, you know, uh, Mobius wasn't compatible with Barrel. So that's that's sort of a trade-off, I guess. But you can still use Cylinder. You see, I'm using it with Mobius, and there's no problem. The next one I'm going to share with you is one of my favorite tweaks out of all of them, guys. And when I tap Mail, you see what I get. It wants a passcode. When I tap messages I get a passcode and when I tap messenger I get a passcode and I'm set I set those up for myself and you can make that customizable any way you want to do it and what it's called it's called I A let's see here where we are I outblock and it puts an icon on your springboard right here. See that icon right there, IAP, right here in front of us? Tap that. This is probably one of the most secure, best ways I've ever seen to protect your apps. Any app you want to protect, you just hit the little add button up there. It'll pull everything on your device, tweaks and all. You see even activators listed there. And if, if you want to make it a uh, protected app you just put a little check mark by it so now when i go back out i have to hit save and when i go back out calendar is going to require a passcode awesome awesome way guys to share your phone with friends and not have them go in there while they're in the bathroom supposedly uh, relieving themselves read your email or text messages where you actually just call them an ass so that's going to be something you can do sit that's called i app lock the last one we're going to talk about today guys is called tiny grid plus and you can get this for 99 cents in big boss repo and this lets you make your folder 
icons look a lot better. You see I have the 2x2 two two grid turned on right here, but you can set that to be a number of different things and I'll show you how. See how much bigger my icons are. They look a lot larger in there. You can actually tell what the app is a lot easier. They're not as small a preview. You see I have 2x2. Two two. If you want columns, if you want three on the top or three across, columns is up and down. I'm sorry. If you want three up and down and two across, let's look at it this way. Now when we go back to my folders, now you can see here that everything looks sort of cramped and jammed up with the 3 by 2 turned on. That's the reason why I had on 2 by 2 I just thought everything looked better, and it does. And then when you go in here, you see a, you've got 3 by 2 but I mean, that's going to be left up to you. Whether, However you want to set that up is going to be left up to you. Right here you can see you can go up to 5 columns, and I'm going to put that back to 2 and you can go up to five rows but to me the two by two just looks better and you can increase and decrease the size of your icons right here and you can increase and decrease the amount of space between your icons and you can also make the background more opaque or less by, by moving that slider right there but to me I liked it better on two by two but that was just my personal preference but guys that's been a, about ten different tweaks for the for this week that I thought you ought to check out this weekend. Grab those. I know you're really going to enjoy them. Hit that subscribe button before you go and share this on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.